Welcome back to the Team Developer 6.2 videos. Today I'd like to talk about the updated Team Developer 6.2 IDE. With 6.2 we introduce many things that provide a joyful IDE experience, like the file open dialog shows all TD files. You can have a new find all search options that gives you a list of all the occurrences and you can double click on the list to go to the code section. You now have direct access to the team developer community and support forums from the IDE. You can now, in the outline, select multiple child objects. Then you can assign those child objects via a menu to a tab page. Assign or um, de-assign from a tab page, actually. You can rearrange the IDE outline tabs so you can um, further customize the look into the application you, you need and you can expand them and TD will expand a message node when you double click on an object from the outline. Attribute Inspector can show the SAM messages which are the system messages or the user messages or both depending on what um, you want to see. And we have a new auto cleanup of the .NET temporary compilation directory so we don't fill up your disk with um, temporary stuff. All this comes additionally to the exciting other features the TDE 6.2 IDE has. All the things you love about Team Developer since it has been released many, many years ago. Guided outline coding for best possible programming experience. An outline structure is the best possible way to display program source code easily understand existing code thanks to the outline structure that makes reading code really easy. Near error-free coding thanks to the outline structure and a powerful coding assistant. Color-coded source code and tapped outline code windows that allow to customize your view into the application code you are working on. So let's have a look at all this So here's the updated TD 6.2 IDE, and if I do open a file here with the uh, open file button from the toolbar, then you see the new open file dialog that shows AP star files, and you can see that APP files are being shown, APL and APT files, plus other file types that would, would be team developer files here. So you can quickly choose what to load, and with a simple double click, you load that application. Now let's have a look at the new Find All option. Go to the Edit menu, choose Find All, enter your search term. The last thing I searched for is H, was HSQL, so I can just do that again with Find All. And here it shows all occurrences of that search term in my, um, in my application. And it also shows in what part of the application, if it's an included library. And using a double click, it will go into the definition, and you can see where that um, is. So this is quite handy when you work on large applications. So now I did switch the outline theme to be a black obsidian theme, as you can see. So <clears throat> the outline, the, the IDE, and all your applications can fully leverage the um, GUI themes that are available here. And you can have your users choose your favorite layout and design of your applications and IDE. So from in the IDE, new things are direct access to the SQL Windows community. So this opens a web page where you have lots of sample code and <clears throat> um, other useful informations like presentations, videos, and stuff. So here's the latest about Team Developer 6.2. You can download all the samples we have for Team Developer 6.2, for example. Another option here is direct access to the support forums, so you can chat with your peer developers to see if they can solve issues you have or if um, Gupta needs to step in to solve something. Now, for the new feature of assigning objects in the outline, selected objects in the outline, so I <clears throat> to a tab page. Let me show you this. In this outline, I have two objects that I want to assign to a different tab page now. Just highlight those objects, go to the right-click menu, 
assign to tab page, then I can choose the tab page those objects should be um, assigned to. And you see, that's how that worked. And now I can also do that again and remove them from the previous tab page, remove from selected page, tab page one. And now I have them on tab page two. And I can run that application and you see that those objects are now on tab page two. And note the new design in Obsidian of the application here. So here is a look at <clears throat> into the team developer 602 outline editor. As you can see, I have multiple views into that open into that one application that is open here. And I can now take those items and move them around as I um, like to have them. And I, for example, I can go to the button and now you can see the way you code in Team Developer. You react on events and then at the next level you do, for example, call a function and SQL and then open the control blank, opens the coding assistance and you get the currently available um, selections of functions and methods that you can use at that point. If you double click on this, then you will be displayed, you know, it will enter the the function itself, including parameters, and provides micro help for that parameter. And now I can enter a variable name that is required here. Other new things include a double click in the design mode to go to the code that is behind an object. If I go into um, design mode of a window here, and you see that's a sample application for our new, uh, for our enhanced name toolbars. And just double click on one button and it will go to that code and show you um, what code is in there. Now, if you want to see the messages available for an object, like here for this button, you go to the messages tab and you see the new uh, settings here. You can see view only send messages or only user messages. Um, so you can first customize the messages that will be shown in the message tab here. Using Team Developer 6.2, you simply have more fun at work. Thank you for watching this Team Developer 6.2 video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified about new Team Developer videos all the time. Thanks and talk to you real soon again.